Notes on the Below by Ida Limon for Mammoth Cave National Park. Humongous cavern, tell me. Wet limestone, sandstone cap rock, bat wing, sightless translucent cave shrimp. This endless plummet into more of the unknowns. How one keeps secrets for so long. All my life, I've lived above the ground. Car wheels over paved roads, roots breaking through concrete. And still, I've not understood the real of this life's purpose. Not so much living, but a hovering without sense. What's it like to be always night? No moon, but a few lit up circles at your many openings. Endless dark, still time must enter you, like a train, like the green river. Tell me what it is to be the thing rooted in shadow, to be the thing not touched by light. No, that's not it, to not even need the light. I envy, I envy that. Desire is a tricky thing. The boiling of the body's wants more praise, more hands holding the knives away. I've been the one who has craved and craved until I could not see beyond my own greed. There's a whole nation of us. To forgive myself, I point to the earth as witness. To you, your frozen Niagara, your fat man's misery, you with your 400 miles of interlocking caves that lead only to more of you tell me what it is to be quiet and yet still breathing. Ruler of the underlying, let me speak to both the dead and the living as you do. Speak to the ruined earth, the stalactites, the eastern small-footed bat, to honor this, the length of days, to speak to the core that creates and swallows, to speak not always to what's shouting, but to what's underneath, asking for nothing. I am at the mouth of a cave. I am willing to crawl. I am really moved by this poem because um, while we've all been in spaces where we are moved, we're in awe of whatever natural environment we're in, whether it be these caves or the beach or mountains or the desert, um, there's something of humility in this poem that, that, that pulls at me. Um, it's not just awe, it's humility and it's grace. Um, and not just, it, it's, a, it's a recognition of the grace-giving cave, and the grace-giving earth. And so the speaker in the poem um, is learning how to have grace for herself. There's like a familial sense in the poem, right? I mean, she's speaking here to this, she says, um, to forgive myself, I point to the earth as a witness. And there's sort of a, a parental um, guidance in the, in the earth here, right, that she's recognizing. Um, and that's, that allows her to forgive herself, right? It's like a, like a parent and a child, you know, when you know, the parent acts as model and the child, um, there's grace there, right? There's grace there. And so the child learns to have grace for themselves. At the end of the poem, she says, I am at the mouth of the cave, where she's talking about the silence in this space um, and recognizing her own ability, like, I'm the one who speaks. Teach me to speak. She's asking this thing that doesn't speak. Um, um, let me use my gift as you use yours, right? Teach me how to do that. And then she says, right, there's a, there's a whole nation of us that is so powerful and so political and, and beautiful too, right? And she's speaking for, for the nation, like the, the world as a nation, right? Everybody above ground.